Hello and welcome your faces to another tutorial. Hi, I'm Xgems and this is an automated pumpkin farm. So let me just show you how this works. Now this is what I built on the server which I play on which is Infinite Heights. It'll be linked down below in the description. Um, but this is one of the main ways of making money on the server. However, it applies to the general Minecraft world as well. So all this does is pumpkins and melons automatically grow in here and then periodically a pulse from this will push the pumpkins and melons into the water stream in the middle and it will come out into this little chest down here so it's pretty awesome and it's a pretty automated way of doing it and they've got this button here just to kind of nudge it along just in case it gets stuck um, but yeah it's pretty awesome it's pretty efficient this works in the latest snapshots so I made this in 1.8 originally it's been tested in the snapshots, it's been tested in 1.9 pre-4, which has just come out a few days ago. So it still works, it's still awesome, so I'm going to show you how to make it. So to start with, just to help you gauge roughly for this setup here alone, but remembering that this can scale as high as your render distance can go. So there's no limit to the size of this. I'm just doing it this size so it's easy for you guys. Um, so you need 18 repeaters, you need um, two comparators, you need one redstone block, you need three hoppers, you need one chest, you need 14 sticky pistons, remember it's for this size setup alone, you need uh, redstone dust, so 32 should be enough, a stack should be a safe amount though, you need uh, 22 redstone torches, uh, you need whatever building block you need and two water sources. So let's get started and we'll build it over here, shall we? So it's nice and things. So first you need your base, which needs to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by one, two, three, four, five. So we'll pick this block so it makes it easier. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by one, two, three, four, five. So let's see if chop the back of this off. need a little column at the middle so this inside here uh, I don't want to break it but this is gonna break my setup but at the back there there is um, a sign so I'll show you now let me get rid of that so so basically you need this little setup about three blocks high then at the back I don't care if you have the sign I didn't have signs on here so you need signs do not forget signs Oops, and yes, I'm using stacks. So it needs to be there, one block above where the water is. Now, the reason for that is any items will drop into the water, otherwise it continues as one big long flow. Now, that's not an issue, however, it can cause lag, apparently, from what I've been told. So it's always safe to do that. And then you need another water block, so you need a little channel here, eight blocks long. So let's go one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. So this is the collecting pit we're making at the moment. So at the bottom here, you can place your chest for whatever you want to collect it with, as I've done there. And then you just want to hop it in the water. It doesn't have to be this far forward. You can have, you can have it there, for instance. And you can pick your chest and do it like that. As long as you block there off with say some slabs it doesn't really impact it and this is why i like to have things nice and stiffy like this and with that there you can still open the chest so any items that comes along to here will just get caught in that hopper and boom will appear in the chest so that's the collection pit covered next we need to move along to this the redstone wiring so Let's start with this bit. We're going to ignore this circuit here for now. This is the pulse circuit for when it's all activated. So we're just going to build the main circuit for now. So it goes button into two redstone into two repeaters facing alternate directions. So I know you can't see it in fact too well. In fact, just to make it easy for you, I'm just going to turn that off. This looks pretty so as you can see with the arrow on the graphics it's going that way and then that's going that way 
right, so let's just grab that and do that. Boom, good. Boom, boom. Go redstone, redstone. Another thing you like, you just want a button as well. You don't really need a button because it's automated. The button is just there. If you feel it's clogged. And then we need two repeaters. One facing that way. One facing that way. That should be... No, 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 no. That way and that way. Because we need a redstone torch there, don't we? So that will connect them to this block here, which will t put the redstone coming up this way. And then we need to channel all the way around to the other side for this block to go up here. That's very important. So it goes one, two, three by one, two. So we follow that. One, two, three, one, two, and then repeat her again into a block. So we have one block there and we have one block there. And on top of them, we put a red and torches. And boom, this is where we start building the layers. Before we get to that, let's just cap this off here. So, because you, that sign is important. But once you see that sign's there, you know what sign's there. So this is the basics of the setup. So this will alternate the torches as we go up. So if I show you inside here, each stage is exactly the same. It goes redstone, wood planks, whatever block you're building with, redstone, planks, redstone, planks, redstone, planks for the initial stage. So we'll do that and then we'll do the off sites, the off bit sites in a minute. So go red planks, redstone, planks, redstone, planks and we'll put one more redstone we don't need that up there but if you're obviously going as high as you want you can do that so it goes planks redstone planks redstone planks redstone right that's the easy bit right next before we start working on these things i like to get these um dirt platforms done which just makes life easy yes the rose is a bit of loss I will not lie however if you time this in fast enough on this with a pulse it should always catch it before it despawns anyway so it shouldn't really have too much loss so just do boop and boop right so platforms are literally as this there's dirt 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 in a ring and every single one is is exactly the same so it goes up like that, boom, 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 boom. And then if we just get a hoe, we need to plant some seeds. I like to plant them straight away, just because it's kind of easy, even though there's no water flowing down there. So we'll do that in a second. In fact, we need to do that right now. So at the top here, you just need to have a capping bit like this, which will just cap the whole lot. And this is to make sure there's water does not evaporate or go anywhere else because it likes to run off the edges doesn't it and it can ruin your entire circuitry if it does that so that water going down there will keep all of this soil fertilized not fertilized nice and wet there we go basic terminology we'll keep all that nice and wet for you so you'll have this little setup so you don't need to hold all of them but i do that just on principle so Next, you need to put whatever you want to grow in here. So it can either be pumpkin seeds or melon seeds. For just for the purpose of this example, I will put pumpkin seeds down on all of them. And these need to be on the corners. Uh, it doesn't matter about these middle blocks. They don't really need to be fertilized. I'm just doing it because it came naturally to me to do that. Anyway, so that's that stage done. Next, we need to start working on these piston setups. So for each one of these, it's exactly the same on every alternate level. So this is the same as this. If I wanted to make another level on top here, it would be the same as this. So it goes A, B, A, B. Say it that way, if that makes more sense to you. So to do that, we simply go out one. So it goes the boom, boom, boom. Boom, 
And then we need some slabs, which is another block I forgot to mention. It doesn't have to be a slab. It can be whatever building block you're building it out of. So you go slab, slab, slab. Oops, slab. And then all you need then is two redstone torches by each side and two repeaters connected to pistons, sticky pistons. So if we go repeaters, 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 and then go redstone, 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 and then we just need our sticky pistons, which I didn't forget to grab. There we go. So it goes, boom, always facing inwards, always facing inwards. So we've got one, two, Get around. Where did you go? Whoops, mistake you made then. Trying to get it on the edge of that is so tough. And one final one. There we go. So that's a lot done. And then you can just put your block of choice. Make sure it's a solid block. Try not to put half slab on there. The whole reason for that. Yes, I put a sticky piston down there. That's why balls out but the whole reason for not putting half slab there is just in case it doesn't in case the item that is um breaking up doesn't actually break up onto the half slab and stay in that block because it sometimes you glitch out the half slabs let's just hoe that block again because it's annoying me ba -ba -bum. Oh. there we go and that's pretty much the first level done. So if I click the button here, it all goes in and all goes out. It's so nice. So now we just need to work on the second level, which is a little bit different. The reason for that is we're using the redstone current from the previous level. This is why there's no redstone torches. There's just redstone, but it's the exact same principle on the rest of it. So if we go there, 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 and there, and then a little half slabs again. Repeat, repeat, one more, and then put our little repeaters as always. There, there, and last but not least, our little redstone so it gets the current, and then we just need to attach the last sticky pistons, which is. It's a bit easier once you've got a block to stand on below. Because the first layer you're always hovering in the middle of the air. Never fun. And then put your block of choice into there. And boom, we've got our second layer then. So we go to here. Let's see, we've got all activates and all retracts all in one go which is so nice and then you can, all you have to do is scale it so i'll do it one more time i think i'll go too high maybe just to give you guys an example if it doesn't start raining in this sodding world they just love minecraft all right so one more time it goes like that so you've got your redstone touch two blocks so on the other side the same again redstone torch two blocks then your connecting block so it can be a slab i use slab because i can see the circuitry a bit better you don't have to use a slab um and then we use redstone torches so we need a block on top actually don't we put that there so two redstone torches put that there two redstone torches and then we connect it with repeaters and then we simply need to connect the sticky pistons. And it is as simple as that. Oops. And then you can actually block. It doesn't have to be that. You can use um, wood if you want. Whatever looks nice. But again, that's simply it. And then if I click this button again, all levels should activate at once. And boom, 
See, all nice, all pretty, all working. And this is what's so good about this, is you connect it to a Redstone setup and it automates it. So we'll show that now. But the principle of this, if you just want a manual label on, this is it, and you can stop the video here. Because you're done, you have a manual pumpkin melon farm. So now we just want to automate it. So to automate it, we need to use a timer. So this is what I'm using. You do not have to use this type of timer. Um, but the whole reason for this is because I want to have two full stacks in here. So quite a long timer to make sure there's enough time for the melon and uh, pumpkins to grow. So it's a simple hopper clock connected to two repeaters, connected to another repeater. This will generate a pulse, which is what makes the whole thing work. So as you can see, that is that pulse there? Not yet, it'll pulse on the other side because uh, obviously that little bar there. Um, but for the purposes of showing how to make a little hopper clock, I will just do that for you quickly. So let's make sure I've got everything selected on this. So we need to make sure we've got enough distance. So let's go here. So you need both hoppers aiming into each other so they look like that not like that they do not work like that they have to be aiming into each other and then on each side you want uh, the comparator the comparator is very important not the repeater it is the comparator and needs to be facing away from the hoppers uh, which go into any sort of block it doesn't have to be a red uh, grass block there we go there's a pulse it doesn't have to be a grass block it can be any block you want as long as it conducts redstone current so let's get into dirt because that's how we roll then we'll connect it to a redstone thing redstone yeah redstone desk there and then basically we aim that into a sticky piston with a redstone right in the middle of it this is where it gets tricky so you want that there that there both aiming in and then you want the redstone block which will carry the redstone current for the whole circuit so it's very important that you've got a redstone block has to be a redstone block not anything else so if i put one block in there now as you can see it starts working really fast and we'll grab that out there because it gets annoying but that is the clock working so out the clock we need to have a little redstone current to our repeaters let's grab them so what two facing like that and one like that it's very important that they're in that shape the whole reason for that is to kind of generate the pulse um, where did i connect that over there oh yes it still works like that oh and one last thing i forgot about that this needs to be redstone current on i don't know if it actually needs to be with the pulse now but I did it in the setup, so we'll do it this way. So it goes, let's just move all that back a bit. So we've got a block there with a torch coming out of it and redstone. Yeah, that works. And then we've got our repeaters, we've got a little thing there, that, and boom. And that should be it. So let's just put let's just put a half a stack in there. I don't want to be too fast. Boom. Oh, that's not worked. What did I do wrong? Oh, timings. Oh, there's timings, isn't there? Yes. So this one can be on one tick. This has to be on two ticks, and this has to be on three ticks, the maximum ticks. So let's just show this to you now. I forgot about that. So this has to be on one tick, and this has to be back there. Boom. And that's how you get the pulse. So if you wait for it, this should pulse correctly now. There we go. Pulses. But it stays on. What is it staying on for? It shouldn't be staying on. It's exactly the same. What's happened? What have I done wrong? What have I done wrong here? It's exactly the same. Oh, there we go. I forgot. I forgot I'm one block too close. So, 
distance is everything. Distance is quite important. So it goes boom, 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 one, two, three, connect, and there we go. And that's how, that's how we generate the pulse for all of this. So let's make sure it works. Yes, it's working now. And that's it. This is the whole setup for an automated farm. And just to make sure, when you build this on a server, make sure your timings on the hoppers are correct. Because if they're too fast, the whole thing won't work. If it's too slow, it will probably just lag a break. Because uh, if you build this too big, you'll have too many entities. So that's just a little word of warning if you're doing it on the server. Apart from that, if you're doing it in a single player world, just enjoy it. And uh, be happy having pumpkins and melons for days. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, please like. If you've got any comments or questions, please leave them down below in the video. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.